Hello explorers and welcome to another video. Today we're going to talk about CrowdStrike. Everybody talks about CrowdStrike today. And it, it has been in the news for weeks and I'm quite tired of hearing about it. If you haven't hear, heard about it, it was pretty much CrowdStrike pushed out a small update to their file, uh, some kind of rule file for finding malware and it took down a lot of Windows servers. I have heard a lot, around 8 million of them, which uh, stopped the traffic for a lot of airplanes, banks had problems and so on. So a lot of people have been affected of this uh, of late. So it has been in the news, it has been in the regular news, and I feel that there ha has been a lot of different news about it. And I don't want to add extra to that noise where it has been very much uh, he said, she said kind of situation where I heard everything from I want to quit but my, my boss will sue me and I have to go and update or fix 3000 systems or something like that. But there has been a lot of work for people to actually get it up and running. So for those people, great work and keep it up. <laughs> and I wouldn't want to be in your situation. Uh, currently at our uh, hosting environment, we run a lot of Debian and other Linux environments. And I also heard in the news that if you run CrowdStrike and Linux, you were hit too. There was a problem too. So Linux was not uh, saved from this situation. It happens to Linux too. But nobody really said what was going on there. They just said Linux is affected too. So I wanted to dig into that and find what is actually up here. And if Linux was infected too or affected too, we would have seen a lot of issues, right? Because most of the internet is running on Linux, or at least I thought so. So if we switch over to my screen here, uh, I found that a report from 2018 that 47.8% is running on Microsoft. Um, so Microsoft server, I guess. And this is something from this T4 AI. So they have figured this one out. Take it for what you want. Uh, I'm not sure if T4 is a good um, source of information. So they... Uh, reported this statistic 2018 in 2022, December of 2022. So I wanted to look more into this. I looked at Wikipedia and we look at public servers on the internet. Wikipedia says that 80% of uh, Uni uh, is Unix-like or Linux-like and only 20% is Windows when it comes to servers. Maybe that's a, a more reasonable number. If we look at business in uh, business fortune, uh, fortune business insights, they say that 62%, 7 is Linux, and that was 2003. So either Linux has been very much gaining market share in in the world, or some of these reports are untrue. But I would guesstimate that Linux is running at least half of the servers in the world, or more. That is my guess. So if Linux was affected, then we would have seen something. And I've dug further and tried to figure out what it was actually going on. And I found this report on uh, Debian. So this is the Debian kernel forum. And they say that they had a kernel panic uh, uh, in April, the 20th of April this year, and seeing in my case this issue has been caused by CrowdStrike sensor combined with a specific kernel. Reverting the kernel or updating the sensor would solve the issue. So that was reported the 20th, and if we go to uh, this next Debian forum here, we also have another report from the 20th, and this is in, in the German forum. So in the German forum, somebody has said that I don't really have any real information as of yet, but our alarm, our server alarm woke me up and 
some of the server were down, there was a bunch of servers going down, and reboots didn't help at all. So he just reverted to an older kernel, uh, 6.1018 uh, in Grub, and everything started working again, and he was too tired to do anything about it. So I will talk about it more on Monday. I didn't find any update on that. That was the report uh, that was given in, the, in this uh, during the 20th. So not really much of an impact. I guess that most of these things were found in some kind of testing environment. You don't push out a new kernel willy-nilly. You just try to push it out and then see if it fails, you revert to an older kernel. So this was seemed to be a problem with the latest kernel patch with the sensor. So not much of a problem there. And for reference, 6.1.020 is a very new kernel. I updated in my Debian system yesterday and I got 6.1.0.23. So it's a very new kernel and updating the kernel is not something that you should do very regularly and you should do it in a, a really uh, careful way because there is a lot of changes that, that could impact your business, of course. So when we update our systems, we uh, take stable packages and the kernel in as well, and we stage them, test them out, and then roll them out. So I don't say that that have been a super big problem. If we go further to the Rocky Linux forum, here they have reported that when you updated to Rocky Linux 9.4, they had the same problem with this kernel bug. So I guess this is also related, but it's a different kernel version. So this was 5.14.0. Uh, so I guess that that is a very recent, ker recent kernel as well, but this was May 13th. So it was earlier that they were hit with this. And last but not least, we have the big boys in the room. We have Red Hat Linux. Uh, so this is the enterprise Linux, very similar to Windows. Uh, you buy a license and they give you support and uh, you uh, install and run their system. But a lot of server are, servers are running Red Hat just to get that extra uh, enterprise support. And they had two reports. So this one was the one that was open. The other one you need to pay a license to actually read but it pretty much is a very similar core bug um, in the kernel, making the system crashing um, and <laughs> reverting to an older version or updating the sensor would be the resolution to this one as well. And this was reported June 13th, so very recently. And I, I would guess that even Red Hat has a bit of a delay on their rollout of the latest kernels. So this could also be related to similar code in the Linux kernel. So what I've seen from this is, yes, there is a problem in Linux. And I think that when it comes to Linux, rolling these kind of uh, problems out or rolling these uh, things out, is more of a testing environment. So you, you, it was caught in the testing environment and never rolled out. Um, if we had a similar issue where the uh, kernel were halted due to a failure in uh, the, this kind of a file, I'm not sure if um, that kind of plugin would have been uh, even uh, approved by Torvalds. I, I guess that he would even say no to that kind of a weird implementation that the kernel crashes if you can't read the file correctly. But who would know? I, I haven't seen any discussion on that in the Linux uh, forum. Um, so I, I guess that that never came up in the discussion. Uh, another point is when it comes to Debian, I have heard, and this is also rumor, so I haven't been able to actually find any concrete evidence of this, but I saw somewhere that somebody wrote that when it comes to CrowdStrike, they didn't have any setup for Debian to test their sensor. So they had Ubuntu, they had a lot of different other 
operating systems that they ran tests through, but Debian was missing from that test case. So still a rumor and don't know much about that. But as I, I have found, what I found so far is that when it comes to Debian, we don't really have that much of an impact in the world or when it comes to Linux in general, the impact was very minimal when it comes to the Falcon, uh, the CrowdStrike Falcon sensor. It could also be that the rollout of this sensor is less prevalent on Linux, of course, and it's more used on Windows. I'm not sure. So this was my deep down into the subject of how was the Debian system or the Linux system impacted of the CrowdStrike issue. Uh, I hope that you found this interesting. I hope that you liked this video. Give it a like, share it with your friends and colleagues. If you have any more information about this, please leave a comment in the comment section down below. And I really hope to see you in the next video.